so we're investigating the explosion on Bree Street. Uh, basically the causes, how we can fix it, things like that. How I feel about it, we aren't ready. We haven't started. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but so far, um, based on what the university is giving us, all the different resources, the time we have, um, yeah, I feel like what the people I have working with me, we, we're confident enough that we're gonna come up with something and hopefully win the competition. I feel like it's very relevant because it's such a recent thing and also just because of what's going on within the CBD about how the infrastructure is failing a little bit it's very interesting to learn like what's happening currently that we might not necessarily be taught at school but I think it is going to be a little bit of a challenge especially as we are the ones who have to come up with like the solution ourselves so I mean I love getting pushed past my comfort zone and my boundaries so I think it's a challenge I'm set up to do. There's a lot of schools, I mean, everyone, and everyone is, will be at the level best, level maximum, putting in all their efforts, so we also must up our game. There was really some things that need to be investigated under it, and I'm really glad they gave us this opportunity to investigate uh, and conduct this research. Very relevant, and it also can open more doors to like different parts of the explosion to say like, maybe the effects and then effects on like the communities that stay there, the income. So it's going to be difficult, but I think it's going to be very interesting. I also think so. I think that it is very relevant as to the time and looking at South Africa's current infrastructure, it's not saying that the, something like the explosion won't happen again. So we are looking at a lot of different factors. I do think that the project will be challenging, but I think that will be very interesting to the solutions that we can come up with.